but how low could it go? Hi, good morning, everyone. Well, that is, that is a key question, I guess. And, and as you say, one prediction we'll hear later on from the, uh, from the Australian Treasurer when, uh, when we get that budget in Australia. There'll be a forecast there for, uh, for the price outlook ahead. But as you say, look, iron ore is in the middle of, uh, uh, has had a terrible week. Uh, we saw the price fall about 10% last week, and it continued those losses on Monday. And look, as you said, there's a number of factors weighing on the price. On the supply side, there's still more low-cost iron ore arriving in the export market from both Brazil and from Australia. Um, there's a risk that's going to overwhelm demand, particularly as sort of tighter credit conditions in China are seen maybe, um, maybe tightening the property market, reducing demand there for steel and therefore for ingredients like iron ore. So, Look, some very bleak outlooks out there. Libram Capital in London, they see the price moving to, uh, into the 40s and possibly as low as the 30s. From the Australian government perspective, we heard in January they see the price falling into the 50s this year. We'll obviously get an update and uh, a new view from Australia on that later today. But look, the, the outlook is for lower prices from here. Uh, and the major producers, though, I mean, do they share any of these concerns about the outlook for China? Look, Betty, I mean, they don't, bluntly. Um, we heard from Rio Tinto last week. It said it has no concern about the health of the Chinese economy. It even thinks it's primed for a pretty good year in 2018. You know, they see, look, they see demand continuing to be fairly robust. They also see a shift, uh, from in, for, uh, shift towards imported iron ore, which is of higher quality, and away from domestic iron ore. They think that's going to really help them and shield them from some of the, uh, some of the reductions on the, on the demand side. So, look, also Fortescue, we've seen them suggest that, yes, iron ore prices are coming back, but really they see them sort of settling in a range, in a long-term range that they're comfortable with. You know, remember, a lot of these top producers, they, uh, they have pretty low costs, and their margins are... Are fantastic even at these lower prices.